It's almost 4th of July and today we're making these four easy side dishes that go perfect with anything that comes off the grill. We're going to start with some smoked vegetables, then we've got some baked beans that are completely loaded with flavor. They also have hamburger in them for a little extra protein. We're going to slice up some watermelon and we've got coleslaw. These are so good and your guests will absolutely love them, so let's get started. Hi, I'm Tara with Simply Made Eats and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making four easy side dishes for 4th of July. I know everybody will absolutely love. They pair perfectly with anything that comes off the grill. And I don't know about you, but I want my side dishes done fast because I would rather be on the boat than cooking, especially when it's like 95 degrees out. So we're gonna get started by chopping up our vegetables for our smoked vegetable recipe. So right now I have the smoker heating up to 350 degrees. If you don't have a smoker, like a Traeger, that's totally fine, you can use the oven. Works perfect as well. I'm just using some vegetables that are in season right now. Um, I got these from the local farmer's market. So zucchini and squash. And then I'm also gonna use some bell pepper and onion. You want to use vegetables that aren't going to get really mushy since they're going to be cooking for like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and these just are just really good candidates for that. I'm going to be using just one of these little throwaway tins. Um, they, the vegetables do really good in the smoker with these and you can also just toss them at the end or you can cover them with foil and stick them in the fridge. Super easy. And then as far as the vegetables go, when I cut up everything, I'm going to leave them in pretty big chunks. Um, I want everything to be a little bit firm still, rather than like mushy, which can happen when you when you cook vegetables. It's almost like preparing uh, kebabs when you want everything to be like kind of squarish for the kebab sticks. So next we've got our squash, and I like to do this for the zucchini and the squash. I'm just gonna quarter it just like that, and then just cut it into some nice chunks. Just everything on the larger side. Same thing with the zucchini, we're just gonna quarter it, and then just cut it, cut it into big chunks. I feel like I'm like so off. We just got back from Maine. We were we we truck camped for like eight days straight. It was crazy. We kind of decided like it was an awesome trip, but we're also like, okay, maybe we won't do that again with kids and a dog because we like really had space issues. <laughs> it was crazy, but a really awesome time too. Like I think Bar Harbor was probably my favorite. We had clams and we had mussels and lobster all like right there on the harbor. It was so cool, so dreamy, such a great place. The weather was so perfect. We're so used to the south where it's like 95 degrees and it was like 68 and sunny. So pretty. I love it there in summer. And then we're just gonna throw all of our veggies in here. This is seriously such an easy recipe. And then same thing with the onion, just big chunks. I'm just using a half of a red onion. You can use yellow onion here, white onion, whatever your favorite is. Um, this is like one of those recipes you can kind of add in whatever veggies you want. Okay, so next we're gonna add in some seasonings. I've got some cumin, onion powder, paprika, and chili powder here. I've also got some salt and pepper. I've got a clove of minced garlic, and I have some olive oil. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pour that olive oil over first. Then I'm gonna add in my minced garlic. And you can definitely add like more cloves of garlic if you want to here. Then I'm gonna sprinkle on our seasonings. And finish it off with some good old fashioned salt and pepper. And then you can use you can use a spoon to just toss this around. Make sure you get it everywhere. If you feel like you need a little bit more olive oil, you can totally add it. You want everything really nice and coated in olive oil and seasonings. Once our smoker gets up to 350 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and add our vegetables. And then we'll check on them in about 20 minutes. Whenever you're using the smoker, you want to make sure to work really quickly. It dropped to like 311 degrees, like just when I opened it. So make sure that you just throw them in the center and then just close it and leave it for about 20 minutes. They're going to cook for like 45 minutes to an hour total. 
um, just depending on how you like your vegetables. Next, we're gonna cut up our watermelon, and I have a YouTube short on this one, and people are always like, wait, can you do it slower? So now I'm doing it. So this is a mini watermelon. You can definitely use a big one. It is the exact same process for both of them. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is just cut it in half. Whoops, I've got this little stem on this side like that, so I'm gonna cut it directly in half. And you wanna use a sharp knife for this, guys. It's, it's not good to use a dull one, it doesn't look good. Okay, so we're gonna cut in half just like that. Then we're gonna lay this this way, this this way. A lot of times I will just cut this white right off on that side and on this side and right here. If I get a little bit too much pink on it, then I'll just give it to my chickens. <laughs> they love watermelons. It's like their favorite thing. Okay, and then we're just gonna cut it like this. And obviously, this is a mini watermelon, so we're not gonna get a whole bunch from it, but if you use one of those giant watermelons, it will feed the whole party. Okay, and we're gonna switch it like this. And down this way. Then what you get is just these cute little sticks of watermelon. Kids go absolutely crazy over these. I made them for my daughter's birthday party like two weeks ago and like half of the watermelon was gone like before I was done cutting the other half up. Super easy, so good. I like to try and organize it to where like the kids can just grab like from the outside of the plate. It's actually easier with a bigger watermelon because these are like really short pieces. Um, but kids are gross and they put like their hands on everything. So if you can just do it like this where like the green is all on the outside, they can just pick it up like this and eat it. And then you can also like serve it with a little bit of tahini on the side. I know people like this in the watermelon. It's good. Also people like in the salt eat salt on their watermelon, which I don't, but some people love it. Next we're gonna get started with our baked beans. These have hamburger in them and they're really delicious. You can also add like some crumbled bacon on top to like make it like a double meat type of deal, but we're gonna add in a lot more flavors. So it just turns out to be really, really delicious. Into a Dutch oven on medium low heat, we're gonna add in about eight ounces of ground beef. This is an 85-15 that I like because it doesn't produce a ton of grease. And you're just gonna use a wooden spoon to break this up until it's almost fully browned. Then you're gonna add in onion and jalapeno. Give that a good stir and let these veggies soften a little bit. Then you're gonna add in garlic. Allow it to cook for about 60 seconds until it's nice and fragrant. Then add your salt and seasonings. Some brown sugar. Then we've got ketchup. Worcestershire, if I said that right and yellow mustard. We're basically making like another barbecue sauce just to add in some extra flavor. And give this a really good stir. And then you're gonna add in those baked beans. And these are gonna simmer on low for about 15 minutes. You can also leave them longer and just add in a couple tablespoons of you know chicken stock or water if it gets a little bit too thick. Next, we're gonna go give those smoker veggies, a little bit of a stir, just toss them up, and then we're gonna close the lid and cook for about another 20 minutes or so before checking. Okay, next we're gonna whip up a really easy coleslaw recipe. And what I like to do is just buy one of these kits like this or just the coleslaw without the dressing. And then I just toss this because it's not that good and it has a lot of preservatives in it. So then I just homemade the sauce. It's just a few really simple ingredients. So we've got some mayonnaise. I like to use Hellman's for this recipe. We've got some apple cider vinegar. And everything is gonna be linked in the description. We also have some white sugar. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper. Then you're just gonna whisk this together until it's nice and creamy. I make this all the time during the week. It's so good. 
I love coleslaw. And if you want it a little bit more tangy, you can always add a little bit more vinegar in here. Or sweet, you can add more sugar. It's like super easy to work with. And then all you're gonna do is just pour the coleslaw right on top. It just saves so much time. It's like easy to make in two minutes. And then you're just gonna toss it all in the sauce. And that's it. I gotta go in for a taste of this. Mm. So good. So our baked beans are all done now. And what I love about this recipe is you can just leave it on the stove simmering on low for like as long as you want really. If it gets a little bit too thick, you can always add like a couple tablespoons of water or chicken stock in just to thin it out but these are so yummy and they smell so good. So our smoker veggies just came off. You wanna cook them until they're nice and softened, but still firm and not really falling apart. I like to hit mine with just a little bit of salt and pepper, and sometimes I drizzle a little bit of hot honey on there just for some extra spice. It's super good, and these are all ready to serve. That's it, we're all done with these four easy side dish ideas. Now all you have to do is make the burgers and hot dogs, and make sure to check out my smash burger recipe because it's so good. Everybody always loves that one. Be sure to subscribe so we can keep cooking together and I will see you next time. Bye.